Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, my voice just cracked a little bit there. Um, today we're having Burgerville. Okay, welcome back to another car mukbang. I got two different sandwiches. I got a one of their chicken sandwiches. I've never ordered this before. It looks just very simple. Um, I think this is a brioche bun. I could be wrong. Lettuce. There's no tomato, surprisingly. Uh, there's red onion and pickles on it. I got it in a combo with the waffle fries and a strawberry milkshake because that's what's in season right now. I got a side of their ranch. I already nibbled on one of these. And then I got the number six burger. I gotta get a thumbnail, so let me do that real quick. Let me put this. Ooh, look at that cheese paper. Can you see it? The cheese on the paper. Okay. This is a greasy burger. I will get to that cheese later. Okay. Okay, so this has a meat patty with cheese. I think it's Swiss cheese. I could be wrong. I forget. Um, there's pickles on it, red onion, tomato, and that's it. Mmm. Okay. I'll put this on my lap. And get some of this cheese off of... Oh no, I think it's a white cheddar. It's not Swiss. Mmm. Mmm. It's greasy. Greasy, but very good. I'm sad they didn't have their onion rings yet. I came thinking that maybe they would have their onion rings, but knowing that there was a chance that they wouldn't. The Walla Walla onion rings. And the guy said hopefully next month. Around the 4th of July. So good. It's so greasy. I don't know if you can see, but it's a small, like a little bit bigger than a slider. I wonder why they call it the number six. Number six burger. Mm. Their ranch is really good. It's their signature country ranch dressing. Manufactured here in Vancouver, Washington. So Burgerville is like a Pacific Northwest, mostly Washington, I believe, but we do have them. There are some in Oregon too. But I think there's a lot more here in Washington. Mmm. So good. How have you guys been? I've been pretty busy. I gotta catch you guys up on some things. Not very many, but. Ooh, she is thick. Very good. And it has fresh strawberries in it. Real strawberries, not that artificial crap. I also got some, um, a Dr. Pepper for the bubbles. All right, let's try their chicken. It's dry because it came with a garlic herb aioli. I love garlic. I usually like herbs. I, aioli is like a fancy word for mayo, so. 
Mm. Not bad. So, Burgerville. Ooh, dropped a pickle. Burgerville is known to. They don't use any antibiotics in their in their meat. So they use fresh quality, high quality, fresh ingredients. And that's why they're a bit spendy. So everything I got today was $30. That's with taxes. A couple dollars for tax. Very, very good. like two stuck together. The chicken is actually pretty good. The breading reminds me, it's like, it's breaded, but it's very light. It reminds me of Chick-fil-A. Very thin. But this burger, you guys, I want to go back to Killer Burger and try their peanut butter. Somebody commented underneath, I forget who, but um, underneath my Killer Burger video, and they said their pickle, pickle, no, their pickle, their peanut butter burger is bomb. So. I will be going back to try it. Somebody's calling me. Ooh, my chicken fell. My chicken fell. So that was Sophia. She was calling to check up on her mama. Still have cheese on this burger wrapper. So my kids are officially done with school. They are going to be freshmen in high school in the fall. I can't believe it. Crazy. So they've been promoted to high school. They had their promotion Thursday last week. And then on Saturday, we had a little something for them at the house <clears throat> to celebrate that. They were a little bummed after because it was kind of like a realization for them that they're going to be going to a different school in the fall. So it was a little emotional, but... um change you know change is hard it's hard for everybody but I think it's even it's harder for kids
I'm parked in the Burgerville. They have a really big um, parking lot. Excuse me. I'm parked in their parking lot. You can see Burgerville. So, some exciting news. I keep picking at the cheese on this paper. There's a lot of it. We have a new member of the family. I haven't recorded it yet. I haven't posted her on any social media. Sophia made an Instagram account for her. But we got a dog. We've had her for a few weeks now. And actually today I have an appointment for her to go see a vet. To make sure. I think she's got to get her second round of puppy shots. Um, and whatever else. I don't know. She is so cute. I'm going to film a video introducing her and that will be on my vlog channel. The kids are out of school now, so... I will be able to actually be at home because before I was having to take them to Portland and I would either come back or I would stay in Portland until they got out of school. So, um, but now that they're out of school, I don't have to be going back and forth. Um, and I can be at home. I can do more stuff around the house, get some more stuff painted. Um, get some work more get some videos edited that I have just sitting on my computer right now for the vlog channel so my house is coming along you guys my kitchen is finally done mmm we're still not we're still missing a, a refrigerator this shake is so thick it's hard to drink Oh, did you guys see that um, Wendy's has a new summertime frosty and it's strawberry? And I can't barely drink this. Unless it's a strawberry blocking it. Um, anyways, I want to try it, but I'm afraid it's going to be like too artificially strawberry tasting, you know? That burger is so good. It's delicious. That's going to be my last bite. So, yeah. <clears throat> Wendy's and Subway are gonna be my next videos. I wanna try the strawberry shake, the strawberry frosty, and then Subway has a new one carb um, bread. So I wanna try that. Um, I usually always get the same thing at Wendy's. So leave me your orders down below for Wendy's and Subway. 
and then whatever looks good to me on the day that I go to film it I'll, I'll get that and eat it on camera excuse me I want to try and get something different because I always get the same thing whenever I go to Wendy's I went to go put lashes on and I haven't worn lashes in like a really long time I could not do it it could have been the type of lashes but um because I'm still, like, all of my vanity stuff is still in boxes because I got rid of my actual vanity. So, and we haven't done our room yet because I want to upgrade our bed and I want to get a new dresser. Like, I want to do it all at once. I don't want to get, like, pieces, like, one piece here, one piece there. Like, I want it to be all cohesive and all match. Um, <clears throat> and I want that to be my focus when I go to do it, you know? So, um, the lady's looking at me, like, what the heck, um, what was I saying? Um, anyways, a lot of my makeup and stuff and, like, utensils, like, brushes and sponges and everything and lashes are packed away still. They're in boxes and it's, like, totally unorganized and so... The only lashes I could find were ones that I ordered off, like, a long time ago. Um, I forget the name of the... They were, like, some cheap, big old box of lashes, and they were really cheap, really inexpensive. And, um, I tried putting them on, and I could not, for the life of me, get them to look right. And then I tried putting on the little individual Ardell. Um, they're, like, professional if you want, like, lash extension do-it-yourself lash, lash extension ones and I couldn't so this eye is like all messed up I got so frustrated one eye and I was like if I can't get this eye right I'm not even gonna try on the other eye so I couldn't and I just gave up so but I'm having to do my makeup in my bathroom and I'm used to doing my makeup like sitting down calm you know like everything's organized or somewhat organized you know I know where everything is but yeah so this eye is a little wonky probably can't tell you probably don't care either <laughs> Burgerville, if you haven't had it, you should try it, if you can. I know they're not everywhere, they're only on, I don't even know if California has it, maybe Idaho, I don't know, <clears throat> I made a mess. Clorox wipes. 
Anyways. Mmm. The meat is very, like, I want to say it's seasoned with garlic. It has, the meat itself is seasoned. It's really good. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Leave me a comment down below. Um, let me know your Wendy's and your Subway order. I don't like mayo, so... Yeah, I won't get mayo on it. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me know your orders because I will be doing Wendy's and Subway soon. And don't forget to rate this video, share it with your family and friends, and I'll see you guys soon with a brand new video. Bye.